Welcome to the Victoria Stadium in Gibraltar for the Gibraltar Darts Trophy, the latest and fifth event on the European Tour calendar. I am here with our champion, Michael Smith, the bully boy. It does sound good. Michael, this is your first title of any sort for pretty much a year and a half. How does it feel to get back in the winner's circle? It's been two years, I think, but I keep saying I just forgot how to win and to win this now, I feel like a little girl. I want to scream, I want to shout, I want to cry. I don't know what to do, but it means the world. I text her on Thursday saying, um, I'm going to come home with the 25 grand and I'll show you in my phone. Text message on Thursday and I've done it. Michael beat Mensor Sulevich in the final 6-4. There was one moment there in the penultimate leg. He took out 132 checkout. You'd won a number of games before that in deciding legs where you'd put in very, very good deciding legs. Is it fair to say that a few months ago you'd have lost those games? I would have given. I would have given or I would have bottled her. That's the main thing. That's, there's no trying to kid myself and say I wouldn't. But I've been practicing hard and then... Um, I practiced with my dad on Wednesday for about five hours. My dad was dying, but I wanted to carry on. But I told him I've just got to get the rough with the smooth and said, sooner or later, I'll start winning the five holes. But I didn't expect four of them to come at once. And then I'm just glad he missed that double 15 because I wasn't ready for that final leg. Because like I said, I forgot how to win and at five all from for the title, it would have been a lot different. You did have a very, very tough year last year, but prior to that, you'd won three Euro Tour titles. This is your fourth. That puts you level with Peter Wright, who's been dominating the European Tour this year, level with Phil Taylor, the greatest player of all time. I know these mean a lot to you, don't they? Yeah, of course. These are, these are mini majors, and I want the big one. I want to be on Sky Sports, so I want the big major. These are just stepping stones. As long as I go home, sit on the mantelpiece, I get to look every day, and... I've win, I keep winning the little mini majors, but I won't be happy until I got a big one. And these, these do mean a lot to me. I won't give these up for the world. If I got to trade all four for one major, I wouldn't because it's only one I get to win four because I know I'll win a major sooner or later. They have been very good indicators, these European Tour events, of people who go on and, and have big runs in the big TV tournaments. Michael, your form has picked up at the start of this year and you've been suggesting that you could go and do this. What do you put the change down to? Hard work. I'm having a, I've got another son coming as well, so it was like, I was getting lazy and I, I couldn't keep doing that. I've got to look after my family, I've got to look after my kids. I'm not, and I miss winning. <laughs> That's a, I can't keep winning them in St. Talents because it means nothing. I get like 50 quid. As I'm like, it's nothing, is it? You don't even get a trophy. Coming here, this is, this is what I want. I want to be number one in the PDC. I want to be number one in the world. I want to be the best player in the world. I want to win world championships. And no better way, I keep winning. Europeans. Did you ever doubt yourself last year when you were going to tournaments and going out first, second round, failing to win your board, not getting the results on TV? Because you were working really, really hard in that time. I know you were putting some practice in, but it just wasn't going for you. Did you doubt yourself? Yeah, of course. I told you I was getting depressed. I didn't want to. I didn't want to play darts. I wanted just. I was going away and I was playing darts. Like, why do I bother? I could sit at home and spend more time with my son. But I thought to myself, what would Junior wants, he'd want me to go out and win, come home with trophies because he likes to play with him and stuff like that. And that's the best thing. I get to go home now, be happy. And until next week, I'm the champion until come Milton Keynes on Saturday. Well, look, um, that looks breakable, so don't let Junior play with that. I am as well. <laughs> it's got my arms going dead, that's why I keep stretching it. But no, I'm, this, is, this is the nicest one I've got, I think. It is a pretty nice one, and it is Michael Smith's fourth. He is your Gibraltar Darts champion. The Euro Tour will be back in Hamburg. That's going to be a few weeks. We are in Milton Keynes on the Pro Tour. That will be shown live and streaming. I think that's just put me back in the top ten now. It may well have put him back in the top ten. We're going to have to check that for you. Um, the next live action you'll see is on Sky Sports. It's the Premier League playoff finals. Michael Van Gogh and Peter Wright, Gary Anderson and Phil the Power Taylor competing for one of the biggest titles in this sport. We'll be back in Milton Keynes on the Pro Tour and then it's more Euro Tour action later on in the summer. For the sixth event, that will be in Hamburg. Michael Smith, your winner in Gibraltar. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers.